A horrible accident in Midland, Texas yesterday has claimed the lives of four U.S. military veterans, including a two-time Purple Heart recipient from the Iraq War. It happened during an event to honor the veterans. Our report tonight from NBC's Janet Shamlian. An incomprehensible scene in Midland. A celebration of American heroes turns tragic. Something I've never seen, something I don't ever want to see again. As two flatbed trailers, part of a parade honoring wounded veterans, passed over train tracks, witnesses say the crossing arm lowered and a double-stacked freight train slammed into the second trailer. I couldn't believe what I was seeing as the arm came down. I heard the horn blare, but it, it hit it within three seconds. Sixteen were hurt, and four veterans who had survived the battlefield lost their lives on a city street. Army Sergeant Majors Gary Stouffer, Lawrence Boyvin, and William Lubbers, and Army Sergeant Joshua Michael, the recipient of two Purple Hearts in Iraq. Sergeant Michael believed to have sacrificed his life for his wife, Dalen, when he pushed her from the trailer just before impact. It was a chaotic scene. It was loud. It was noisy. Uh, people were panicking. The parade was just blocks from ending in a banquet where hundreds were waiting. This may be one of the most tragic events we've had in our town. The NTSB is on the ground here and has collected video from the train and a sheriff's escort car. And we just continue to pray together. For As a heartbroken community mourns a cruel irony, overseas heroes felled here at home. Janet Shamley on NBC News, Midland, Texas.